Holy shit, look how huge that is. That's absolutely crazy. Got to be super careful because there's so many bits of glass. Like this one, I've, I've brushed past twice already. Star Wars episode one, then dressed up. Oh my God, this is huge. Oh, no. This is actually the projector, isn't it? Or the projector holder, maybe? 1951. Nathan's about the oldest diary now, yeah? <laughs> 1951, what's, uh, let's see what's inside it. The thing is though, when you look at these sorts of things, I often think that the, the date itself loses meaning when you're like looking at it. But to put that into perspective, right, that is nearly 70 years old. It's crazy. 70 yeah. years old, that book. Somebody wrote that 70 years, that's almost someone's lifetime. Yes, that is right. We are back at the Abandoned Cinema. You guys absolutely loved that video of that last Abandoned ABC Cinema. So we've come back to explore the other half of that place. Although I have actually been corrected several times in the comments. So honestly, thank you for that. Uh, apparently the places aren't actually connected internally. Someone who used to work there actually told me they used to have to actually exit the building to go to the other site. So there's definitely no connection internally. But anyway, before we get started, here's the history. So when this place opened first of all in 1929, it was originally known as The Regent. When it first opened, it was actually a theatre and restaurant styled in an incredible Italian Renaissance way, with a foyer decorated in black and white marble. The building also boasted two restaurants designed to hold 300 guests, and the theatre had a total of 2,300 seats plus extra standing aisles. The theatre itself boasted ornamental plasterwork and hand-painted panels showing Italian landscapes that were painted by Frank Barnes. The theatre survived all through the war and was slightly converted in the 1950s to accommodate the installation of Cinemascope, which is the kind of curved screen we saw in the last cinema that wasn't actually IMAX, it was a Cinemascope screen. On August 19th in 1963, the theatre played host to the Beatles for the start of a six-night engagement where they played two shows a night. It is also said to be one of the very first times that they played the song She Loves You. Towards the end of the night, Paul McCartney told the audience, now we'd like to do a new song. It's released on Friday. In 1968, the Gourmont Theatre, as it was known by then, closed after 39 years of entertaining the public and underwent a huge conversion. The stage disappeared and so did the original organ. The entrance was rebuilt and the restaurants were changed to a terrace bar, converting this theatre into a more familiar style cinema that we know and love today. In 1986, the cinema which now boasted six screens became Odeon Cinema and remained that way until it finally closed in 2017, when Odeon opened up a new complex just down the road and closed this cinema and the ABC Cinema, which it had acquired and taken over the management of back in 2000. And this is where we stand today. How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. We are in the other side of the cinema that we went to. You guys absolutely crushed that video. Probably had something to do with the fact they managed to get in the paper. Um, but uh, I said we'd come back, I said we'd try and get in and we've successfully got in. There's quite a few more people here today so I'll try and introduce them as we go around. We've got Neil and Abandon Seekers you saw last time. But we've also got What You After here today as well. So these are the What You After guys. As always, all their channels will be linked down below, so go check them out. Let's, uh, let's have a look around. So hopefully you guys are noticing this is a little bit smoother than last time. That's because now I have a gimbal. I don't have any big lights on me today. I've only got small lights. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my big lights, so hopefully this will do as we go around. But yeah, screen number one. Wow, okay. So I'm just venturing off a little bit by myself. But this place is supposed to be as big as the last place we did as well, so this should be an absolutely awesome explore. Can't wait. The footage might be a little bit funny today because I am trying to get used to this gimbal. Don't really use one very often, so this might be a little bit different to usual. Hopefully better, but we'll, we'll see. It always takes a little bit of time to get used to uh, new equipment. Wow. So this is one of the actual speaker things, but it's actually fallen over this one. I get too close because it's being held up by the scaffolding right here. But check this out. There's more of this like scaffolding, I suppose it's called, that would have held the screen up. So guys, check this out. We're just going to get down to the screen, or off the screen, shall I say. And uh, I thought this is the stairs to it, but it leads to absolutely nowhere. Oh, is there not even a door? There's not a door. There's Maybe nothing. it's like the Harry Potter one that you've got to run through it. Shall I try the bricks? Yeah, go on. <laughs> run through it. Oh, no, fuck that. <laughs> this one. I've got a magic wand, though. Fuck was happening. <laughs> I tried. Oh wow, look at that. 
Oh, it's got the Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's quite cool, that is. It's a bit mouldy. Power but... Rangers! That doesn't, it's funny because it doesn't look like a, a movie sign, does it? Looks that, like a piece of artwork that would have been in. That's chalk, isn't it? Or pastel. Wow, okay, so we are trying to make our way down to the, um, the seats where the screen is, but I've just come into this room and there's loads of really old seats. Check these out. So these are like the old original seats. Anyway, let's check them out and see what else was down here. I'm gonna go and join the others in a minute. I just wanna check out all the bits around the screen first. Oh, wow, look, so these are the, the old seats as well that probably went to those um, parts in there. Now, somewhere in this cinema, there is apparently supposed to be original fitting, sort of original um, parts. Wow, there was this. Oh, this is the shutter door or something? What is that? It's like a massive turbine. Is that the air filtration thing? Oh, wow, look at that. Guys, check that out. We saw one of these actually at the Odeon um, that we did before this one um, that you guys might have seen. If you haven't checked it out, I'll link it in the description. But this is like air filtration and look at the size of this turbine. I mean, that's my hand up against that. That's huge. What is this? I think this leads to outside. Oh yeah, that's like a ventilation shaft through there. Look how rusty these are though. Can you guys hear the car noise? That's how close to the outside we are right now. So down here is the main boiler room. It's so, so quiet. You've got kind of more modern boilers, which are these things here. But it looks like at the top, the pipes you can see how old they are because of the old valve systems. Just there and over there. Oh my God, there's a ladder there to the outside. Doesn't go any further though, so we don't want to go that way. But check this out. Not only does this look like a really cool, I think it's like a shoot for something, maybe coal, I don't know, to be honest. But look at these handprints. Look at how creepy they look. Right, I'm gonna go back upstairs because I think the other guys are probably wondering where the hell I am. There's actually some of the old um, chair signs here as well. Damn, check this out. Right, let's go and find the others. Here we go. Found the other guys. Hello. Oh, did you just appear too? I went into the basement. So guys, I found myself a mask. Um, it's too late for my feet, but at least I can save my face. Uh, <laughs> and if I'm unhappy, it's got a smile on it too. So. I was going to say, you look happy. You look very happy. <laughs> Alright guys, we're in another screen now. This is the one we were just looking at a second ago through that projector room. This one does look a lot more torn apart, but to be honest, I'm really interested in finding those original features. Um, there are some, apparently, somewhere here that are really, really old from when this place was built. Problem is, the pictures I've seen of it, um, there's like breeze blocks, and I'm wondering if they were doing building work, maybe they've just sealed them up again. But I'm checking every little nook and cranny just in case. <laughs> Guys, check this out. This is the uh, main lobby, and as you can tell, it looks pretty trashed. Look at the stairs as well. They're falling to pieces. But yeah, it looks way worse than the last place.
So these are recognised because every time I go to the Odeon, I always get myself a large nachos. And this is the container they come in. And I always get three cheese sauce. So this is the kitchen for behind the kiosk where you would have bought your sweets and stuff. So I'm assuming this would have been filled with ice cream and all sorts of things you could have bought. So this would have been their ice lolly freezer by the looks of it. You got, oh yeah, that stinks. Jesus, that stinks. Oh. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but Jesus. There's like Calippo and a feast in there, which is totally gone. Orange squash. I bet that would have been for the staff. I don't think I would have sold that. It's probably for the staff. We still got some uh, cutlery and stuff wrapped as well. My years of working in catering, I remember having to uh, wrap lots of stuff like that. No, we wait now. Oh, I don't think we're going to the uh, train station. Well, what? This place is definitely way worse than the APC, unfortunately. Still pretty cool though. Oh, this was a food kiosk. Oh, this is where you get your food from. I think it was both ends, I'm not sure. But this is definitely like ice cream and stuff, like Ben and Jerry's. Right, so that is the main foyer done. Pretty smashed, unfortunately. I wish it was in better condition, but it's not. So we're gonna go check out upstairs, and I think there's a couple of screens up there, including one of the screens that I went in and watched the film a long time ago. <laughs> oh, actually, before we go upstairs, I just realized this is the way to the ticket booths and the uh, box office. So this is the back office, behind the box office. The box office is just over this side. We'll check that out in a second. But this is like the cash office. As you can see, they've got all the uh, till drawers and things here as well. I'm sorry, we're just under some refurbishment at the moment. We'll be open again whenever we're done, I suppose. Refurbishment. <laughs> guys, check this out. It's probably really dark and you guys can't see anything, but this is probably the biggest screen we've come into so far. Some of the guys at the top there. But this is pretty, pretty big. Wow. All right, guys, give me two secs. I'm just gonna jump across because I've just seen where the original features are. So we're actually on stage now, next to the old screen. But what I wanna show you and what I wanted to come here for is up there. I don't know if you guys can see it yet. We'll see if we can get around behind. Uh, but this is the, the old screen, the old curtain. Uh, what were they actually doing for a day for being there, really? Oh, dude. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. So, guys, these are actually original, original features from when this was a theatre stroke cinema when it first opened. This is incredible. I saw pictures of these, and this is the reason I wanted to come here today. Doesn't matter how smashed it is. Check that out. features still being left here is just absolutely amazing. I think there's some more on this side, so we're gonna go and get behind here. Yeah, there are. So check this out. This is the other side, and there is more of these original features, which are insane. It's crazy to think these are still here, and they've just been decorated over. The pictures are quite faint, so I'm hoping you guys can see it properly, because, uh, it is quite faint. There's like a cityscape over there. I'm really interested to find out what these are paintings of as well. I thought they were holding the top of the ladder.
Yeah. Oh, it gets bouncy to the top, so I'll hold it. I think it's quite wedged there, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I know. It gets bouncy when it gets here, though. Right, so you've just been interrupted in the main video, and that is because I'm back here for a third time, literally the day before you guys are going to see this video, because there's something really cool we missed, and uh, I want to show you guys. I don't want to leave out the video because it is really cool. I've got a mask on, as you can tell, because there's a lot of like asbestos and dust and things up here. But trust me, it's worth coming to see this. So this is why I want to come back, because these are the original features. But the reason this is all here, and the stuff we saw downstairs, is basically because this and the stage downstairs, which I hopefully have mentioned in the video somewhere, used to be one and the same room. And uh, this is basically the very, very top of the stage downstairs that would have been the theatre originally. It's quite cool to think that I can actually touch something that was made in 1929 as well. How incredible is that? Alright guys, so we're going to go through here, but apparently there is a spiral staircase somewhere. Not sure how far I'm going to go in this because I am on my own. That's so cool. And that is very, very wobbly, but there is another room down there. Just don't, they're not these staircases, they're so narrow. It doesn't go anywhere, it's empty. Go down, Jess. Oh, wow. First choice, Odeon. Right, so now we've gone as far as we can this way. And we're going to grab the bags and come back down this way because it's actually a lot easier than that. Uh, we're going all the way around down that ladder again. Oh wow. Some solid. What is this? It's like a little I don't know, workshop or storage room. That would have been on there, yeah, like that. Must have been old sweet scales. But the first thing I saw when I came in was actually this, and this is incredible. Make time for wine. I have no idea how old that is. It's probably been a while since they served alcohol here. Very on time, so. Make time for wine, that's so cool. Let's go check this out. There's actually an old Ocean bin here as well. This, uh, this bit we've come to, what we missed last time, seems to be the oldest part. with all the old bits in it, which is actually really cool to see. But, uh, yeah, back up there to go find the others, because I'm on my own again. That was pretty cool. The original features are amazing. I kind of keep saying it, and I have to say it in the main video, because I know by now I've edited that video. It's almost, almost done, just need to put this footage in it. But how cool is that? That that is still there since 1929. Mad. Right, so barring any more surprises, you should be back to the main video. See you in a bit. So guys, Neil's here with me now, so I can actually show you the screen properly because his light's much, much better than mine. 
I need to get a much better light, to be honest. I usually have one, but not today. So guys, check this out. We're in the uh, staff room now. This is a bit different to the uh, last the cinema's one, but there's still loads of stuff left, which is really cool. There's still like staff uniform and stuff. So we've got a t-shirt just here. And there's a shirt just here as well that says Odeon. And some more shoes. <laughs> and like Nathan just said, there's stuff in the lockers as well. Apparently that black bag there is full of shoes. Any decent shoes in there? Any Jordans? I don't think there's anything, there's no pairs I think, they're all singles. Right guys, that is the staff room done. I think we're almost done with the whole place actually. There's a few more bits to see I think, but that's about it really. That's all she wrote. Oh wow, so this is a storage cupboard. This would have been for uh, sweets and stuff and bags. Got some more of the Film Fest, or for Film Feast if I could read properly. Film Feast bags. 2.99. What's through here? Oh. What is this? There are some toilets. It looks like there's uh, some kind of cleaning storage as well. Glad I opened that up. Check the wheels. So guys, check this out. We just opened this. I walked straight past this as well, but there's um, a One Direction pass thing. Some more staff uniforms, the looks of it. But check this out. This is a box full of these old reels. Cops are out. Hmm? Shit. Guys. Right. So we've just we've just been told the police are outside. Just bad and secrets that. <laughs> What's that through there? We need to write on yeah. it. Wow, look at that guys. So we think this is a suspended ceiling above one of the screens. Did they come in then? No. They're not. When they've gone outside, the police have been there. They probably don't want over here then. No. So they've, we... they've seen them and they've told them to leave, haven't they? So guys, we've just been told by Mike uh, the police are outside. I'm not sure they actually know we're here. Um, they've told them to leave, so they've gone somewhere. I'm guessing they're going to come back. Hopefully, they will, because that's how I'm getting home. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see what happens when we go outside. I think it's because there's other people here and they are proper smashing the place up and being noisy. This is the first bit of film I've found in this one. It's interesting to try and look through the film, see if you can see what... what the rolls in it. Yeah. It's amazing that they still leave film, I still can't believe they do. Well, I suppose it's not really worth anything now, is it? But, it's crazy. You'd think it'd be collectible. This wasn't like this when I came here. Um, Loads of film in here though. Judge Dread. That's sick. Alright oh, guys, we're back on the original stage. Um, we're just, again, we're wondering if we're going to bump into police at some point. We'll have to wait and see.
So guys, that is it. Uh, just before we go, I know it's a long video, so please bear with me. I just want to say another huge thank you to everyone who has shown support on these videos, who's given me tip-offs, and you know, this has been incredible support on this, and I'm actually amazed, because I didn't think it would be that much support on it, but you come out in droves, and I really appreciate it, so thank you for watching, thank you for enjoying this series. This will probably be the last time you see a video on this place because I think I'm pretty much checked out every nook and cranny of that place. I don't think there's anything left to be discovered. But if you haven't quite got your fix of abandoned cinemas, then I'll leave links down below for the last cinema I did, which is uh, another Odeon cinema. So they will be linked below. But also, if you're interested in more about this cinema, uh, we did actually go back, as I said in the video, last night. I'm still a bit tired. I've had about four hours sleep. I've also just finished editing the video, so I'm looking forward to a bit of rest after that. <laughs> I need to go ahead to bed. Um, but if you want to check out another little snippet we've got of that, I did a behind the scenes video which is up on the website and I'll link it down below. Uh, somebody on the last video, the ABC one, gave us a tip off about a part of the building that we hadn't seen that was kind of hidden. And that part was the original restaurant for the ABC cinema, which is apparently in the ceiling above the foyer. And I'm not going to tell you what we found, but if you want to check it out, it'll be linked in the description so you can go and check that out. Also, please go and show some love to every single person who has been in this one and the last video. I'll link everyone down below in the description so you can go check out their channels and their versions of this video. So please do go and check them out. But for now, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate if you've got to this point in the video, about 25 minutes in, so in total between the two cinemas, we've had nearly an hour's worth of footage. Um, so thank you if you watched both bits all the way through. I really appreciate that. But that is it. I'm going now. I'm going to rest. Going to bed. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.